Greetings to you this day from the Prayer Chapel at St. Matthew's Church of Glendale, California, as we gather together as God's people for our daily devotion. Our devotion this day is based on St. Paul's letter to the Church in Rome, the 8th chapter, verses 8 and 9. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, then they do not belong to Christ. Here ends the reading. What do I need to do to please him? What do they want from me? I'm doing everything that I can. Give me a break. We've all said those things. We've all asked those questions. Have we not at times? No matter what we do, some people are never satisfied. It could be our boss at work, someone in our family, a spouse, or anyone out there who demands more and more than we think that we can give. But God? Can we please God? The short answer is no. According to our sinful, broken nature, we cannot, on our own, please God. Our brokenness and wrongdoing, that old Adam, that old nature, is still around, and it is still hostile to God and to God's law. And certainly, if we give our lives over to the desires of sin, we lose the power for godliness and godly thinking and godly planning and godly doing. Then guilt wells up inside, and guilt can sometimes drag us down into depression or despair, even sometimes physical pain, like King David spoke about as he moaned in Psalm 32. But Jesus sacrificed his life for us so that we would no longer live according to our sinful flesh or according to ungodliness or according to our guilt. Jesus wanted us to belong to him. Jesus made us his own through water, and the word. So the better answer really is, yes, you do please God. In the realm of the Spirit, that is, the rule of the Holy Spirit who comes to you through the gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ, all that you do for your Savior and according to all that is in God's written will for you, all of that pleases God in heaven. But isn't there still sin in all of us? Still selfishness in our best songs, selfishness in our best prayers, selfishness in our best efforts. True, but we no longer belong to sin because we have been born again in Jesus Christ. We now, through water and the word, belong to Jesus. The Spirit's work of wrestling even the tiniest fruits of faith out of our selfish heart is proof that we now belong to the King of Kings. What a daring confidence we have that we belong to our Savior, Jesus. For anyone who needs or longs for a sense of belonging and a sense of purpose in this life, we have that belonging. We have that purpose. We have that holiness in Jesus Christ. There is now no condemnation for you. Let us pray. Lord, we try to please you, but we fail. Thank you, Jesus, for pleasing the Father for us. Grant us a daring confidence to live in your spirit because we belong to you. Amen.